What's going on guys, it's Evan, and today I'm going to be doing a closet tour on these clothes, and maybe some other stuff back there, but I don't know, never really. So, the main, so the idea of this video is to show you guys about these shirts and like talk about them and stuff like that, and um, I got this idea from a YouTube channel named Loveless Serve, I don't know if you've heard about them yet, but they did a closet tour on their clothes and shoes and stuff that they had in their closet. I'm not going to be doing all that because I don't have my shoes in my closet, but I have my shirts in here, which I just put in yesterday, so yeah. So, I might start now, I guess. So, back right there, right there, right that, um, you got this nice design shirt. It's like, um, kind of like a bee comb or something. I don't know what it is. Um, I wore this, I don't think I've worn this to school a lot, um, but I think it's a very nice shirt, fits me, otherwise I wouldn't have it in here, and I just hung the hanger to my neck, but yeah. <sighs> so, I like put this back up here, because it fell on the floor, um, there, um, you might, you might not see a lot of me, but I'm right here. It's me. I'm on my channel. So, I have this old Jer Jordan shirt. I think this used to be my brother's shirt. Um, Jordan, blue, nice. Plain. You got the, um, nice Jumpman logo. Jumpman logo. I actually just got a new Jordan shirt at Burlington. Because Burlington has fire clothes in my size, so that's good. Um, it's really, really tough decisions trying to get what clothes I like there and not go over the budget even though I do go over the budget of usually twenty dollars so I did get a new Jordan shirt not like this kind of it's black and it's in the dirty clothes right now it's not hung up here yet because it's in the dirty clothes so um yeah and then on the back here you got the old Jordan Jumpman logo, and I can, I'm positively, 99% positive that that's actually the Jordan Jumpman logo, so yeah, speaking of Jordan, I got this Jordan shirt, or jersey actually, mm, bowls, I don't know if it fits me yet, I'm not gonna wear it yet, because I don't think it fits me yet, I think it's a little too big, but it's a black, I love these uniform designs, um, it's from, like, 96 or something. I don't know. I think that's their, like, 96 to 97, like, alternate uniform, I think. I got a lot of information about it, so. I don't know. I think it's, no, I'm 100%, 99, 98, 90% 90 positive that this is actually, um, 1996 and 1997. Not 1998. I know that for sure. So, the next thing I have here is this NBA shirt, t-shirt, obviously. I own a lot of t-shirts here. All of the stuff here is t-shirts, just so you know. I'm not really the type of guy who likes long sleeve shirts, so yeah. So, this is my um, Attitude is Everything NBA shirt. Um, it says practice with the basketball, and it's... Jordan 4s, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure those are... I'm pretty sure those are Jordan 4s. It says established 1946. Um, and got the NBA logo right there. And the bottom. I own a lot of NBA t-shirts, by the way. So, um, let me put that back up. And then you got this nice plain Nike shirt. At first you might think if you covered up the... Nike logo. You wouldn't know it's a Nike shirt, but it actually is. Nike dry fit shirt made in Nicaragua. That's not how you pronounce it, but very nice, very plain. I like it. I like Nike. I'm, I like Nike. Stand for Nike! So, um, very nice, very clean. Easy to get dirty, but I don't because I like the shirt. Yeah. So, yeah. 
right after the NBA. Attitude is everything shirt. So the next shirt. <coughs> Jeez. The next shirt is this very nice. I never knew I had this shirt. I never knew I had this shirt. I never knew it. But now I do. But now I do. So yeah. I don't know what this company is called. It's got this weird logo that looks like a nine because it is a nine. I'm telling you, this is another dry fit shirt. I don't know. I'm not an expert of what type of shirts I have. All I know is that I have a jerseys, Adidas, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Um. Very plain. Um. Front. Back. Front. Back. So yeah. So the next shirt. Well, it's not a shirt, actually. It's a jersey. Uh, Chris Paul Hornets jersey. Oh. Um, right there. I've worn this to school many, well, not many times, but times before. Um, once upon a time. And, uh, it's ripped right here. Or, I don't know. Well, whatever. Purple, Adidas logo. Adidas. And Andrew pronounces it. I don't know if it really is Adidas, but got Paul on the back. Number three on the back right there. And I realized that's cool when I was wearing this. I was in the bathroom at my school, right? I I was in the bathroom doing my business. When I, well, looked at myself in the mirror and realized this shirt or jersey is too big. It's a little too big for me. I thought it looked dumb. I'm glad nobody noticed by the end of the day. No one noticed. So that's good, I guess. I guess it wasn't big. So, yeah. Not sure. Adidas. Very nice Adidas shirt. I gotta fly through these because this video is getting long. Very long. Adidas. Adidas sent a size 10.2. Or, wait. 10... Um, 10 slash, um, 12, so yeah. I don't have a lot of, like, oh, fancy shirts. Oh, you got this loud piece, whatever. So, you'll get to that later. Um, but, got it's gotta be this, it's gotta be, it's gotta be, it's gotta be this. Skills! Um, I think I have skills as a reviewer, as a YouTuber, as a rememberer, as... Yeah. It's very nice. This company is called I don't know. Because there's no name for the company. So yeah. Oh, this shirt. This shirt I've worn t so many times at school. So many times. Don't bother me. I'm studying. Dot, dot, dot. How to beat this video game. Then you got this action or skinny figure. Probably on this PlayStation or Xbox or something. And it looks like the TV is correct. But it's not. So, yeah. So. And my arm is getting tired. Kind of. Um. Got National Basketball Association. With the basketball, like, outline right there. NBA, 1946. Um. Black shirt. Uh, um. <clears throat> so, yeah. I don't, I don't wear this. Sh I don't know if I wear this shirt too often. But, yeah. And here's something I know I don't wear often. It's this Giannis Antetokounmpo Fanatics NBA jersey. And I'm afraid someone's going to make fun of me because I'm wearing a shirt with a guy whose last name is 27 letters long. So, got and one shirt. That's LeBron, as you can tell. I'm a LeBron fanatic. I got a LeBron jersey right here, actually. Um, and one. Coming off, though, but... Um, and one on the back. So, yeah. Um, Amer 73, 73rd American Tradition? I don't know. Uh, oh, it's called Canyon River Blues. Made in Bangladesh. Bangladesh. I usually see the shirts that I'm wearing or things that I'm using or playing with, like Hot Wheels Diecast. They're usually made in China or Malaysia. Where is this? Bangladesh. I don't know where Bangladesh is. I barely even heard of my Bangladesh. So Bangladesh people. 
Good job for making that 73rd American Tradition shirt, I guess. And then you got another NBA shirt. Very plain. NBA large. Large? Since when did I wear large? Since when did I go? Oh. Ten minutes. Oh, jeez, I gotta speed this up. <laughs> um, got NBA. I think it's supposed to look like that. I don't know, like, roughing up, toughing up. So, yeah. And then you got this plain green. Hopefully, if I can pull it out. This plain green baseball Nike shirt. I can tell it's a baseball because it's got the base. And then it's got powder, whatever it is, all over it. Green. So nice. Nice. Oh, yeah. The brother of the black. It's the exact same thing. It's just gray. I love the NBA. <sighs> so, same exact shirt, gray. PR pride, yeah. Oh, this loud guest shirt that it still fits me, by the way. Got this LeBron jersey from the Heat. I actually have a black one that's exactly like this. Got the white and the black one. Got the Windy City Bulls Youth NBA Bulls Kid Nation. You got a um, made you look like neon shirt and the last shirt here. It's probably the best for last. This Christmas Grinchy, not really, but it looks like it. Champion, champion shirt all over the place. And I actually have the tags of the shirt because I didn't throw them out. Right here, they cost eight bucks. Our low price. So yeah, um, you can then you got the champion tag right there. Authentic aesthetic wear, established 1919. So yeah, I think that's it. Hope you like the review. I hope you like my closet tour, my clothes. So yeah, bye. Gotta hurry this up, you know.